Yo, what the f***, Brayden? How do you let your, your brother, your friend, whoever Tyreek is to you, how do you let someone put a substance in his water and not tell him he has a credible threat? And I'm going to blame this on you because you told her that he does not have a vice. So she wanted to give him one. That is a trifling act. Ho, and I'm looking at you sideways for hanging out with the ops. She turned you on, turned you out. Yo, the whole episode long, you couldn't pick your head up for two seconds. I think you was breathing more substance and then air. Anyway, we're going to take it from the top. Tyreek hits Noma's daughter off already. As soon as this starts, I'm like, oh, okay. So we're done with that. He's lining her up to have her in his pocket to go against Anya's mother, Noma, of course. So Brayden starts off laying in the bed with, we'll call her Holly number two. If y'all don't know who that is, she was Tommy's ex-girlfriend in the original Ghost. I'm telling you, this girl acts just like her. Handle my woman. You're gonna do what? That's right. You and I are partners now. Ghost. What'd you call me? Brayden is laying in the bed, Priddle talking with her, and he's like, Oh, like you got to take substances so early. And she's like, no, this is for my sickle cell. So I'm like, oh, they really trying to make us like her because I still don't like her. Now, I feel horrible for anyone that has to suffer with sickle cell because that is a serious situation and very painful. But after she lets him know she's taking that kind of meds, she goes right into number two, the substance anyway. And of course, you know, he want to bump it's like, Brayden, how are you judging? Because every time she goes, you go. Diana is trying to contact Salim. Good luck. Unless Tyreek put you where you're supposed to be. You're not going to reach him, darling. Monet cooked this elaborate breakfast. And she still don't take accountability. She wants to put everything off on Tyreek. No, girl. You've been messing up way before Tyreek even came into the picture. And Drew is looking at her sideways like this, bitch. She can't take accountability for nothing. Kane walks in and he's like, I don't want to be with these two. Dude, I get it. I get it. I'm not even upset with it. How about everybody walks out at some point and nobody had nothing she cooked. Like they just left it all there on the table. I think everyone forgot to eat. Tyreek and Brayden is having a conversation about Anya. And, you know, Brayden's like, let her go. Brayden, you are not in any position to give Tyreek any kind of advice. And I'm watching Tyreek drinking water, hydrate, and taking care of his body this whole episode. I'm just saying, I don't know why Noma catches up with her daughter because she's always evading security. And she's like, well, where did you go last night? And stuff like that. So as, so as Anya is taking her keys out to go into her dorm room, the substance falls out of her wallet. And the mother's like, where the heck did you get this from? And she's like, oh, I got it from Stansfield. I was at a party. She's like, what? So she goes back and she approaches Effie. And Effie's like, I did not sell this to her. I don't know what's going on. And she's like looking at her like, what do you think it is? Tyreek is written all over this girl's face. And it's just weird because for once, Effie looked defeated. Like she didn't want no harm. She didn't really want to take care of it. She's just like, and she didn't even want to tell Noma anything. And I'm like, wow, we must really got some emotions up in there. Noma's like, Forget it, love. I'll take care of it myself. Like, Noma is walking around like she is something and she ain't. I haven't seen nobody, like, someone tell me how Noma is powerful. Because in this whole season, she seems like the weakest villain I've ever, never met. Like, I be meeting these people. Caught in the cops trying to figure stuff out. They're like, how we don't know who Monet is this whole time? They're trying to put a plan together to catch Monet. Brayden goes, drops off the money to Zion, and Zion presses him about the Russians disappearing and stuff like that. He was like, oh, I have a feeling you know something. Brayden is like, yeah, they are working with this lady named Noma, which is kind of good because it's like, you know what? Yo, Zion and Noma, y'all go at each other. Like, we done with her anyway. You know what I mean? Noma's big ass comes to the club, looking all out of place, of course, because she's the only one. And Kane looking in there, looking like he's in love, looking at his mama. So she's sashaying in. Tyreek, what are you doing? I know you're selling in here. And Tyreek is like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, you know, he got a headache and stuff like that. They realize that it is going down in there. 
And Norm was like, oh, we're going to take you out. Come on out. Let's leave. Let's leave. And then as soon as they're about to leave, we see Anya walk in. Tyreek points her right to his mom's direction. And she's like, oh, my gosh, you know, you're following me. Norma is thrown off. And she's like, oh, I can't do this in front of my daughter. She's like, let's go. And she gets outside and she's talking to Kane. And she's like, I can't believe it. I am so upset. And Kane is like, yo, do you want to take him out now? And Norma's like, no. And I'm like, no. Like, why? Your daughter would never know if you just yoke Tyreek up. But I guess this is bad writing with them wanting to keep Tyreek around because the way this happens so often and he keeps getting out of it, it's like he should not be getting out of situations that he gets out of. But Noma is extremely weak. I don't see her as a threat at all. So Tyreek is so upset. He goes and he's like, where's Brayden? Oh, he's in the back. Brayden out in the open or oh, 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 head on the table. Like he does not even lift his head up this whole episode. Tyreek is like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then he sees culprit number two standing over there. And she's like, I know, I know about it. You can talk in front of me. And I'm like, what? Why would you even tell him that you know? If you and Brayden are pillow talking, why are you going to tell the person that you were pillow talking about that you know everything? Tyreek needs to make Brayden off that girl. And I'm going to tell you why he needs to make Brayden do it. Because the next time Brayden decides to open his mouth to some outside chick, know that he might have to offer. And maybe he'll stop pillow talking. Monet's sitting here spilling family first to Drew. Drew's looking at her like she's crazy because that's the same thing that his father used to always say. And guess who off the father? His own family member, Monet. So it's like, yo, Monet, I don't even want to hear you talk right now. You are such a fucking hypocrite. After a while, Monet understands that she can't just deal with Drew the way she used to deal with Drew. And she got to actually talk to him and apologize and maybe take a little bit of accountability for yourself. At the same time, Brayden is rushing home to Tyreek because the girl just let him know that she put acid in his water. So now Tyreek is spiraling out. Now, writers, tell me y'all watch Snowfall without telling me y'all watch Snowfall. Last season, too. The last season of Snowfall it seemed like y'all biting a little bit. Y'all biting a little bit. Come on. Come on. Tyreek goes into this big debate with himself where I believe that he alived the image of himself and he embraced his darkness and everything else. So he's, he's embracing all his faults because... Tyreek used to take somebody out and he's like, why did you make me do this? But I think now he is going to turn darker. So I believe that we had a death of his old self and he is turning into his new self. So he tells Brayden that he has to become the apex predator. Now I had to look up the definition of the apex predator because I'm like, what is he talking about? An apex predator, also known as a top predator. Or super predator. It's a predator that's at the top of the food chain. So it's like the white whale, the king of the jungle, which is the lion, and you know, etc. So I guess he wants to be the top of the human food chain. Meanwhile, no more walks in. Kane, who you been talking to about me? And in my head, I wanted to say, no one, bitch, you're not that worthy. I'm just saying, I don't like no more. I really don't. Because she's walking around here a nobody. But they making everyone think that she is somebody. She is the most indecisive villain I ever met. She'll be like, <gasps> like she brain farts all the time. And it's like Kane or somebody just got to walk her through her thoughts. Oh no, you need to do this. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to look at that. Yeah, I should. She is the most a moment having person I ever met. And she's asking Kane that because she had a dinner meeting with the guy that she's trying to get the government contracts from that Davis hooked her up with. It went bad because Zion came and crashed the party. Now Zion came and crashed the party because Brayden told Zion that Noma was stepping on his toes. Noma doesn't know where it came from, just that she's on other people's radars. Kane is like, nah, chill. I'm a handle this, mama. Watch me work. Look at me. He goes up there. I mean, his name did hold weight in that place. I am not going to lie. And he's like, you know, he wants to fight territorial, animal-like, apex, predator-like. 
He beats Zion. Noma is so proud, but it's just like the glances that he gives Noma is like, you proud of me? You proud of me? Like every few seconds. And he goes home and takes that down. However, Davis handles the other situation, the guy with the government contracts, and he didn't go nowhere. Now, side note, he's not going anywhere because Davis is the one pulling those strings. I'm sure when Tyreek and Davis had a conversation on how to get rid of Noma, it went something like this with the guy that's supposed to do the contract. I'm just saying, you know what? Quote me because Davis is hooking this up. And who's Davis' man? Tyreek. So anyway, for Davis saving the day, Noma screws him too. Cool. Our little confused deer in headlights lady. Detective Carter has lost all his marbles. He's sitting there in his house acting like his wife is still there. He is in denial. And he's like, all right, babe, I'm going to talk to you later. Meanwhile, Robe is there. It looks just like a woman lives there and it's neat. I'll give it to him. He's keeping it neat and clean. And he's like, I'll see you later. I'll be home later. And he's like kissing a picture. And you're like, what? Like, I knew you was out there, but you really are out there. And of course, we find out that Detective Carter is as crooked as they come. He wants to control every drug dealer in the city. And he was just mad that Monet has been slipping through his fingers. Diana decides that she wants to keep the baby. And for some reason, Tyreek is like, yes, yes. And he's claiming it. He asked the question that we all wanted to know. And it's like, why is it mine and not Salim's? And like she said, she's been strapping up with Salim and she doesn't strap up with Tyreek. And I was like, oh. Well, that's a good point. And Tyreek acknowledged that they did not strap up. So I guess the baby is Tyreek's. At the end, you got Diana asking Tyreek about Salim because she cannot get in contact with this guy. And do you see Tyreek when he just lies? He's like pivoting. He's looking from left to right to left. I don't know, Diana. So this is going to come back to bite him in the butt also. Please become a member so we can do member only chats. All new members will be getting a shout out in the videos and also supporting your girl. Anyway, I'm Amina Sinit. Hit that like and subscribe button and you take care. And guys, we got to chat down below because we got a whole two month break from this mess. Let me know what y'all thought because I'm curious.